how can we converge any image type into a 3D mesh without modeling it in Blender? All right, so first what I'd like to do is to add a plane. So I'm gonna select everything, X and delete. And let's shift A, we need to add, like to start with the plane. You can zoom in here a little bit. I'd like to press N and go to the item. So these are the dimensions of our plane, two meters by two meters. So our first step is gonna be to match the same dimensions that we got in our reference image. So this is our reference image. I'm gonna type or right click and let's go to the properties and let me check the dimensions. So we ha we're having 1280 multiplied by 744. So let's go ahead and do the same proportions that we got. So here let's set it to 12.80 and here 7.44. There we go. So now it has the same dimensions of our plane. Awesome. So the next step is gonna be to subdivide our plane. So on the edit mode, I want you to press Control E and let's go to subdivide. You will have this pop-up menu on the bottom, so click on it, and I want you to increase the number of cuts to the max, which is 100. So let's double click the tab so that we can reset the subdivisions, and we can type again Control E, and let's subdivide it one more time. So the more subdivisions you have, the more clear you're gonna have your final model. So I'd like to increase the number of loops to, for example, two, or even three. Three is gonna be fine. All right, so as you can see, we're having plenty of vertices here, which is awesome. All right, so for step number three, we need to add the displace modifier. So with this plane selected, let's go to the modifier properties, and we need to add the displace modifier, this one. So click on it. So basically for this modifier to work, we need to add a texture to it. So if you scroll a little bit down here, you're gonna find this texture properties. So I want you to click on it, and let's add a new texture. So if you scroll again, you're gonna find this new and open. I'd like to open a new image texture and I want you to pick your reference image. So double click on it and bam, as you can see, we got that reference image applied to our plane. So this is how it works. So basically Blender is gonna take the black surfaces and push them down like this. And the white surfaces are going to be popping up, up, just like this. So we can reverse the extrusion up. So let me just go back to the displace modifier. And for the strength, let's give it minus 0.25 to have it pop up in the reverse way, something like this. Okay, so the next step is gonna be to optimize this mesh. So what I'd like to do first is to apply this displace modifier. So let's go here and we can click on apply. So next I want you to press three so that we can go to the right or to graphic view. On the edit mode, press Z, switch to the wireframe and you can click and drag. Let me just zoom in a little bit. You can click and select the bottom Port, X, delete those faces. All right, so now all we have is just the top, which is awesome. Also, we're having some kind of, uh, we need to make it flat. So what we can do is to press S, Z, and press zero to flatten that surface. All right, so all the vertices right now are on the same level, which is great. So you can go ahead right now and just extrude this one up. So you can press E, Z, and go up like this. But as you can see, this is not the perfect we converted our image successfully, but if we zoom in, you're gonna find it not that good. The quality is really bad. So what we can do is to smooth this mesh out. So to do that, let me just show you the way. So I'm gonna press Alt A to deselect everything. So I'm gonna go to the top, select and select sharp edges. So basically all we need is just these edges. So I'm gonna press three again and Z switch again to the wireframe, B to box select and shift so that we can deselect the bottom. All we care about is just the top. So shift D again. We can try to move this one outside. Here, press B, separate selection. Right, also we can change the center of origin to the center here. So let's go to object, set origin, origin to the 3D cursor. Excellent, so now we can select it from here. So let's go ahead and add the smooth modifier so that we can smooth our mesh. So let me just zoom in here. Let's zoom, for example, here. Check this line. So let's go to the modifiers and let's add the smooth modifier. And we can increase the number of repetitions. Let's increase that to something like 30. So as you can see now, we're having some pretty much smooth lines. So all we have to do is to just apply the smooth modifier. All right, so our next step is gonna be to unsubdivide our plane, our mesh, so that we can have fewer vertices. So it makes no sense to have this density of vertices here. So let's select everything and we can type control E and choose this subdivide and subdivide. 
So as you can see, we're having fewer decals here. We can also increase that number of iterations, for example, three or even four is going to be fine. I think three is going to be fine. Yeah, let's just go back. All right, so with that being done, so you can do some optimization to these edges just so that you can have the bevel working just fine. You can select this point, press M, merge at the center, and let's do the same thing to all those areas. Press M, merge at the center. So just keep doing the same step to all these corners. All right, so it's working perfectly. So what we can do right now is to just fill these faces. So let's press L to select this part. We can press F to fill it. Let me just go back to the solid. And let's do the same thing here. So I'm gonna press Alt, Shift Alt to select both of those. So if you press F, we're gonna be filling everything. So we don't want that. So instead, what we need to do is to bridge edge loops these two lines. So Control E, and let's choose this bridge edge loops. All right, so there we go. We got our mesh. So all we have to do right now is to add the solidifier modifier again. So let's add it. You can increase the thickness up. So you might run into this weird problem. So it has to do with the normals. So let's select everything and type Shift N and we can click on this inside. So now our normals are oriented in the same directions, which is awesome. All right, so as a last move, what we need to do, let's right click, Shade Auto Smooth, perfect. And we need to add the bevel modifier. So let's add it just so that we can smooth out a little bit these edges. So right click, Shade Auto Smooth. And basically that's it. So we converted our image into a 3D mesh in Blender. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them down below. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in future projects. Take care.